the wrong direction. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris from uh, from New York, Westchester County. <clears throat> I just listened to something on the radio about YouTube. Some employee decided to go ballistic over there and start firing shots, something like that. I'm mean, hearing bits and pieces of it right now. It's April, did I say April 4th, 2018? Um, yeah, so I, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> did she figure out the flat earth? <laughs> you know, they took down her videos or something? I don't know. I don't know, I sent something with veganism or something like that. that she want. I don't know, who, who, who knows what's going on? I think they also took down Trump's uh, YouTube channel, too, because he was doing some rant against the uh, uh, the, 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 the left. I, you see, YouTube, there we go. I told you, we're limited with the amount of time we have here, guys, okay? Get together, get phone numbers, get into contact with people you've made contact with. If it's been on my webpage or if it's been on anybody else's webpage, get their phone number, okay? Because this is a great tool to find people, you know, from everywhere, all over the world. I mean, I told you, I have people contacting me from saying hi from everywhere. Well, it's not the world. We all know we live on a flat plane, but you know what I'm getting at. Sometimes these words just slip out. What do you want me to do? <sighs> well, I, I, I can tell you what happened to me over the weekend, uh, you know, but really, I don't think YouTube is for that, you know, about yourself. I think it's you more giving information out to people. So there's really no point of getting into it. Um, but it did bring one important thing up to me when I was talking to this guy. Um, and, and I was thinking about NASA and, and, and it's been brought up before, you know, that they're never going to ever be able to go anywhere ever again. Any of the space, uh, government agencies will never be able to do that. They can pull off the ISS right now, you know. <clears throat> they can pull that off um, because it's controlled. It's in a pool somewhere. I don't know where it is. Could be in a pool. I don't know, okay. You can't hold me to these stuff because we don't know. We're just throwing things out there for people to understand and look into. I mean, NASA is so fake it is fake, <laughs> okay? I mean, that's bottom line, all right? It's so bad. And they, they can't even get the ISS right. <clears throat> the reflections off the mirrors, I, I've seen that. I've seen everything, you know, bouncing around in khakis and a T-shirt in the middle of freaking space with 5,000 degrees and a little uh, piece of tinfoil. I mean, come on. I mean, it's just so bad, all right? Uh, now I just heard, I was watching... Uh, the uh, the NASA channel. Three guys just got up there. How the hell did they get up there? I, I, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't recall any rocket launch uh, recently. Do you? I, I didn't see any, but they just appeared up there. <laughs> yeah, they drove up with their Mercedes. That's what they did. And they got their wetsuits on, decided to take a little swim. That's how they appeared up there. Anyway, look. You know, my point is they are never going to be able to ever pull anything off ever again. Okay, they are going to just continue lying to you. They are going to just continue the bullshit until they can't buy any more time. Until one generation wakes up and says, I have had enough. I'm not allowing my children to go to school anymore. You know, they're not allowed to go to science class anymore because everything you're teaching the kids is complete bullshit. All of it is complete nonsense. You know, the mathematics. Hey, look, we all need to learn mathematics. We all need to learn computers. That's what they should be, that's what science class should be all about. Computers and mathematics, that's it. Nothing else, because everything is false. Everything right down the line is completely false. It doesn't exist. There is no way we're ever going anywhere. I mean, we can... You know, I want to know there's a dome up there or a firmament, you know? I know the Bible states it. I know everybody does. I'm, I'm, I'm not a very religious person. Uh, but, you know, when you get into this, you understand that there is a creator that created all this. This is not some stupid Big Bang thing that just happened. You know, we appeared out of nowhere and the, and the universe is gigantic and it's trillions and billions. and quite, I, I don't even, I can't even make up these numbers anymore. This is so fake. It's unbelievable. 
but you will know what I mean. You know, this is it. This is the universe right here. We are the center of the universe. This is it. That's a light show. Okay. All right. The sun and the moon is there for your enjoyment and for heat, of course, so we can survive. We're not even 100% sure what those things are up there, you know, but this is, I don't know. I, I, I just had to, God, I was just thinking about NASA again. I mean, it's just so bad. They, they can't get anywhere. They'll never be able to ever pull anything ever off again. There's just too many of us now. You know, I feel sorry for the people that are just getting into this and they're going on YouTube, putting down uh, search, you know, a search uh, a hit like, you know, flat earth. You know, I don't know what the hell they're, they're looking at right now. You know, I mean, the good thing about the, the convex earth that it came out is because they'll never be able to pull the, the sheet over our heads again. All right. Because now we're awake to that. See, I told you, you know, flat earth is many, many stages of lies, you know, inside the community that th themselves and outside, of course, you know, and, and that's, that's what it's, that's really what you've got to get used to. You've got to get, get through this and you've got to see through everything. And now that you're aware and you've got that eye, and you're able to see shit and look for numbers and, and look for signs. You know, I, I, I was watching Jaws 3. Yeah, I, that came out in 83. All right, and the Jaws 3D was actually, we actually went into the movie theater and wore these ridiculous glasses. I remember, I was a kid, I was, uh, I was just a little boy. And, uh, but I was looking through the movie, you know, and looking for just, th I can't watch movies anymore for enjoyment. I watch them now to debunk them, you know? Up, oh, they knew. Up, oh, there's two, two, there's one, one right there. There's 9-11 right there. You know, all these numbers and all the cars. I, 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 you know, thank you, Flat Earth, but I'm not, I can't even enjoy movies anymore, let alone music. Forget it. Don't get me started with that. Anyway. <clears throat> So, look, that, that's just my thing on, on NASA. I, it's, it, you're, you, those people out there who think that this actually really does exist and what you grew up with is real and, and you're just waiting to go to Mars, you know, get, waiting to go up there, good luck, have fun, but you're never going to see it. Not in your generation, not in your kid's generation. You're never, ever going to see ever a rocket take off to go to Mars, ever. Uh, Mr. Musk just kind of just put put the case, case sealed, you know? I mean, he just sealed the case right there. I mean, it, you know, it, it's just... I, I can't believe it's... I don't know. You know, who am I to say anything about it, you know? I just know everything up there is fake. And I know that's complete horseshit. And why he did this, I, I still don't understand why he did this. I really don't. I mean, you know, really, I... I, I Who does he think he is, you know, to make something like that so fake where flat earthers are just busting in our pants, you know, that not only is it a joke. <sighs> All right. I didn't really want to bring this up in, 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 in this video, but I, I just had to go on to it. And I, this is one thing that I want to talk about, you know, flat earthers, we, we lead um, a double life almost, you know. You know, your, your wife or your girlfriend or people around you see that you're acting weird, <clears throat> you know, and, and you're, you're unsure of what's going on and you're not thinking straight and it's because you stumbled across this, you know, and, and you've got to go through a period of time where you're... You just got to go through this time. <clears throat> All right. So when you get through this and you do it, um, <clears throat> you'll be a lot smarter. But one thing that I want to get into is about the double lives, you know, about us sneaking around in bushes, <laughs> hiding, making phone calls, you know, I mean, it looks like we're, we're, we're cheating, you know, it really is, you know, I, I mean, people contact me and I want to talk to them and I can't always talk to them and it, it pisses me off, you know, I mean, 
I live in a small place. I'm, I'm looking to buy a new place. I found something. We're in the middle of doing it. I'll have my own room, but for now, I I, I don't have it. You know, I, I have to hide in cars. You know, I've got to do this at work. Um, you know, I mean, there was a time where I, I would go on Mark Sargent's show, and I, I literally had to hide in a bush. <laughs> And go on the show because I mean I have neighbors, you know, and they they're always outside, you know, doing something. Hey Chris, how you doing? Hey Chris, where are you? Hey Chris, what you have for dinner? Nah, I don't freaking talk to you anymore. Leave me alone. Um, you know, so I mean, it, it's it's like this double life we have to lead, and it's ridiculous. You know, it really is. We are the smartest people in the world. We've got so much to say to other people. You know, I, I mean, and and we've got to do this. And I know you probably feel the same way as I do, you know. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know? And I'm sure it pisses everybody off. Well, everybody just walks around like zombies, and we're awake, and we are the only ones that are awake. You know? Why? Did we rebel in school? You know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I know a lot of smart people who are flat earthers, too. You know, so make sense out of that. I have no idea um, why you were chosen to do this and lead it. One person changes another person's life, changes another person's life, and it trickles down. You're gonna have, you're gonna be stopped. There are gonna be walls that you're gonna have to jump over. Hoops, you have to jump over. You know, and as everybody always says, you're gonna lose friends. I have, you know, but they probably will come back in six months. That's how it is. They've got to go through that six-month learning curve of understanding the truth. That's how it is. I want to make an announcement, and I'm kind of excited because, um, you know, it, it shows me that, you know, what I'm doing here, people are noticing, okay? And that makes me feel really good uh, because I'm just talking to you. I'm not doing anything. I'm not trying to put out a Hollywood show here, you know? Um, to bait click you or whatever they call it. I don't know what the term is. I think it's bait click, isn't it? I don't know. What it is. So, you know, that makes me feel really good. Patricia Steer asked me to go on her show and who am I not to say yes? You know, why not? You know, if it, if it gets out to more people, she's got a pretty big following, you know, and um, and it'll get the word out even more, hopefully. Um, and that makes me feel good, and I'm glad she contacted me. <clears throat> I, might be, I might even be doing a couple of other shows, just live shows and stuff. I don't really know how these live shows work because I've never done one myself, so I don't know if I'm going to be in control of the chat room. I doubt it. I think she is, or she might have somebody else do it for her. I, I, I don't really know how that works, but if you're available tomorrow from 6 p.m. to 7.30, you know, come by, say hi. I don't know if I can see it. I don't know how I'm even going to be able to do it, uh, I'm definitely doing it no matter what. If I do it in my car or if I have to run over to my parents' house and lock myself in a room, I don't give a shit. It doesn't make a difference to me. I'd rather not do it in the car because you always see me in the car. I'd rather do it somewhere else. So I'm going to try to get myself to a computer. Maybe I'll go down to the town library. <laughs> oh, no, it's after 6 o'clock. They're closed. That would be hysterical. I don't get people talking, huh? I bet I have a whole crowd of people behind me. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny, guys. I really would. All right, so you know, check out the show tomorrow. I'll, I'll I don't really know how I'll, I'll post it somewhere on my on my video, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, and I'm not really sure what we're going to talk about. Probably just about my videos and stuff. I, I don't know. All right, I thank you for subbing. I thank you for uh, for commenting, and I thank you for you know just making me. Uh, now part of your life. All right. I really appreciate that. All right.